Okay, today we're going to talk about the dir built-in function in Python 3. So let's start by looking at the docs. Um, dir takes an object, it'll return things as a list, and really the only thing I wanted to bring to your attention is this note at the bottom that I think is pretty helpful. And it says, because dir is supplied primarily as a convenience for use at an interactive prompt, it tries to supply an interesting list of names more than a rigorous or consistently defined set of names. Um, and what, what I'm reading here is that dir is basically only used at the interactive prompt. So when I show this to you in the show, which we'll do next, just know that that's one of the main places we do it. We use it for debugging and lots of things. So it's not really in your code, um, just in the show. There are two main ways to run dir, empty or with an object as an argument. Let's run it empty and take a look. Um, so when we run it, we don't get too much going on because what dir is doing is returning all the attributes and values in the local scope. And since I just span up a new uh, Python shell, there's just not too much going on. Um, if we pass any object, we could pass say even just a number, um, we're gonna get a whole lot more information than what we had in the in the local scope. And you know, it's ever it's, it's a little bit of everything. And we can do this with say a string or with a uh, empty list. And every time we run this, uh, we're gonna get different attributes in here. Maybe what I'd like to note is that it is an alphabetical order. So all the dunder or double underline attributes come first and they're alphabetical. And then after that, the non-dunder attributes come next and they're once again alphabetical. Dir can be helpful when we want to see what's in different packages. So say I import the JSON package, we can run dir against this just to see what's in there. You know, sometimes I, when I write code, I wrote, is it dump or dumps? And I kind of forget or just whatever, you know, attributes and functions are in this, in this library. And so you can run dir and we can see which functions we have access to. And for, for JSON, you'll probably be familiar with some of these dump, dumps, load, uh, decoder, things like that. So it's just a great way to look at packages. The last use case I want to look at is with a class. So I wrote a Jeep class, added some attributes here, and we're going to print out uh, the value of dir and see what we get. So of course, we're going to get a whole lot of attributes. And on the end here, we're going to get these two that I created, HP and model. And if I created another one, like what would this Jeep have? Um, it would have some wheels, probably have four of them. And we can run this again, and I see HP model and wheels. So Dur is a great way to see what attributes are on a class. And yeah, thanks for watching.